This is Timothy G talking about Ninochka. This is to me a, a very special film because it's from the golden age of Hollywood. They had just, because it was made in 1938 I think, um, they had just taken The Coming of Sound on board uh, and the original teething problems which they had uh, were uh, being eliminated and so it, it has the the freedom that we from then onwards were beginning to associate with the uh, uh, filmmaking um, but much more important than that it is a characteristic piece of uh, international filmmaking uh, from the people who gathered together in or been gathered together in Hollywood um, and uh, the director Ernst Lubitsch uh, was Berlin born uh, and um, uh, had made a great career for himself in, in Germany uh, so that he came to the attention of the uh, moguls in uh, California. Mary Pickford was actually the first person to uh, uh, require his services uh, and take him out to, uh, to California. And he then built on his early success. The fact that he was Jewish probably meant that he uh, had no great incentive to return to uh, to Germany. But uh, he had gone out to Hollywood before the rise of Hitler, so one shouldn't associate the two things with him. Uh, and the script was the work of two then young uh, and much admired uh, partners. Uh, working partners, uh, Billy Wilder, who had been born in Vienna, uh, but for other reasons again, I think, than the, uh, the, the coming of the Nazis, uh, had, had decided he wanted to, uh, to, to leave Austria uh, and had moved to America. And it is quite amazing that uh, he should then become uh, a scriptwriter of um, the highest class uh, when English was a language which he had learnt since arriving in America. Uh, his partner, Charles Brackett, and this may have been part of the reason for their getting together, uh, was a Harvard educated and definitely uh, an upper class uh, American uh, and uh, they had established a, a good writing partnership uh, with, with several films and so when MGM were looking to put together a group of people to make what was obviously intended to be a, a very prestige production, instead of using their own uh, in-house staff, uh, they brought in Wilder and Brackett who worked mainly in Paramount and Lubitsch who had uh, also worked at Paramount, though he had also uh, he had worked before for MGM, uh, to make this, which is, I believe, one of the great comedies. Uh, but it is also uh, the best remembered of the films that MGM's prime star, Greta Garbo, made for them. <laughs>